Hey guys, so before we get into this video, I just want to say two things. One, that little thing in the last video was actually because I did something wrong during the soldering, and we're actually going to probably have to spend this whole video fixing it. This is mostly going to be me soldering and explaining circuits, so if you're not into that kind of stuff, just wait for the next part to come out, and it'll be probably about building the shoulder part of the arm and if you don't know what I'm talking about about the arm then you should go ahead and watch the last video anyway enjoy the video so now that that's all settled let's explain what went wrong with um, this so um, I actually went into too much depth and I sounded really strange, so I'm just going to speed this up with nothing and I'll explain it. So basically the wiring connections weren't very good on the motor or the power wires and the push buttons didn't work well on the last soldering project that happened. So that also could have been the problem, but that's really it. I didn't really know what I was talking about, so there. So... I don't know how to fix this design, so we're just moving. To the new brightened design of two switches glued together. In all seriousness, um, these were just the first thing I saw. Oh gosh. Well, I'm gonna have to fix that. Right, this was really just the, these were really just the first thing that I saw, and these were really just the first thing that I saw, but anyway, these are going to be uh, the bright and new beginning of this, so let's get on with this. <laughs> I think that none of you knew what just happened, so I'm going to explain it. But for me to explain it, I need to explain a six channel switch for you guys. So what a six channel switch does is it has three different segments of when it could be in the middle to this side or to this side. Whatever side it's on, it will touch these two connections together. 
and that's basically what normal switches do, except this one has six channels. Now this is what two three channel switches would look like. And this is what we actually did. So this is what I'm gonna explain a little further. So this is what I tried. I tried taking these two wires and twisting them together. And taking these two wires, twisting them together, and then putting these two wires out there. Now we have four wires, two for the power and two to drive the motor. This is actually what you're supposed to do if you wire a six channel switch up. And so um, what I thought was, oh, I can just connect them both ways, just like a six channel switch. And so I put the battery wires on these two. And I put these two wires on the motor. I was actually thinking that this was just like a three, like a six channel switch and that um, even though these two wires would connect when it was switched this way and these two wires would connect when it switched this way, I could still do everything on the corners, but that actually didn't work. Uh, because you actually have to have the power going from the middle. Like that. And that way, now if it's switched this way, the power will flow on this end. And if it's switched this way, the power will flow on this end. And instead of just having the power only be active on this end and this end. Um, and this end and this end. And then the motor would never actually spin that way. But now, you can actually use these wires. And it works perfectly fine this way. And so this is actually a completed working circuit of what you can do with two three-channel switches um, and drive a motor. And I've never seen someone do this before, so I'm feeling pretty proud of this. Now all we have to do is connect the wires and solder up the second motor. So again, guys, I need you to know two things. First of all, I think that we've this video's gone long enough, and um, it's been pretty deep into the explaining and I kind of want to get this video out soon so I think that we're gonna actually do the soldering in the next video but here's some test footage just for your enjoyment guys I can't believe it it actually works Unfortunately, I can't have them both attached and do the buttons at the same time yet, but after I solder it on, then I think that will be golden. Can't believe that worked. And yeah, guys, it does work. So in the next video, we'll be um, maybe making the other one and doing, I don't know, the rest of the stuff that I have planned, but that's all for this video. I think that the next video will probably be next weekend, maybe at like 2 o'clock or something. I don't know, but that's all guys. Bye. Wear your air belt and see you later.